911, what's your emergency? Hello? I am being threatened by an African American man and I he's he's near me and my dog and I feel very unsafe. Would you please send the police? Are you a white woman, ma'am? Yes, I am. And this man, who is African American, scaring us. Hold on, I'm transferring your call. 912 white emergency response. All right, ma'am. Karen, is it? I yes, how did you know? Try to remain calm, Karen. Just stay on the line and I'm going to help you. First of all, is your dog on a leash? Put the fucking dog on the leash. Now, Karen, there's a long history of white women making false accusations against black men and boys in this country, calling on the racist power of the state to, to threaten, to terrorize, to kill them in the name of defending the purity of white womanhood. You might not know that you know what you're doing, but you, you fucking know what you're doing. Okay? If the cops weren't racist, you wouldn't have called the cops, right? You still with me, Karen? Uh, uh, you think that same attitude doesn't affect everything else you do? You ever uh, serve on a jury? A hiring committee, Karen? A, a, a homeowners association? Hello, Karen? Hello? Uh, okay, just stay put. We are sending help. We have units in the area and they should be arriving now. Thank you for calling 912. Don't ever fucking do it again. 912, what's your white emergency? There's a large, very loud group of African Americans here having a cookout, and I'm sure they don't have a permit. In fact, I was just on next door. Okay, Karen. It's pronounced Kieran. Have a seat, Karen. Literally, sit the fuck down. Are you sitting down? Yes. All right, Karen. A lot of white people get very uncomfortable when black people show up where you don't expect them to be. And you know where that is? Wherever you are! The park, the swimming pool, your block, where they also happen to live. Maybe it's the continuing effects of school segregation, judicial bias, redlining. What's redlining? Google that shit, Karen. The point is, you don't ask yourself why you're uncomfortable. Instead, you convince yourself those black people are doing something suspicious, and you call the cops. You know how fucked up that is, Karen? You ever think about how it feels to constantly worry about being perceived as a threat? I guess I haven't. I mean, I've just never really had anybody to talk to about this stuff. Hold tight, Karen. I've got Sheila on the line. Sheila from HR? Hi, Kieran. Sheila, the only black person at your job is going to hold your hand through an agonizing series of awakenings over the next few years as you slowly begin to grapple with all the privileges your whiteness affords you and just how deeply embedded your racism is. Yep. I'm going to be super patient, even though the way you'll manage to make every single thing about you and your delicate feelings is going to make me want to slap the shit out of you on like an hourly basis. Wow, that sounds amazing. Yeah, it's going to be fucking exhausting. Which is why you'll be paying Sheila $600 for every 20 minutes of her time. Still not enough. But what can I say? I'm a patriot. Thank you for calling 912. I hope I never speak to you again. 912, what's your bullshit emergency? These animals, these thugs. They're out of control. They're looting the entire country. I'm scared for my life. You've got to send help. Now that's a motherfucking emergency. Stay on the line. 